Um, here we have Excel and we're going to use Excel to investigate the geometry and uh, loading on a, an excavator arm. So uh, I'm going to very quickly show you the calculations. I'm not going to go into any detail uh, because uh, here's calculations for the geometry uh, and we've got calculations for forces uh, and we've got calculations for the hydraulics. Okay, but let's not spend too much time getting bogged down uh, in that detail. Um, but let's have a look instead of the, the output of this calculation. Now, the output of the calculation, I've decided to chart uh, using Microsoft Excel. Uh, so, what we have here is just a, a, it's a line diagram that's reading geometry that we've just calculated. And what we can do is I've linked these scroll bars. Uh, to the calculation as well, so I can change the geometry just by let's lower the boom. Okay, so that's what's happening there. I'm lowering the boom. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can see that uh, something that's quite interesting here is that we've got some percentage signs here, and that's the percentage of the RAM capacity that's currently being used. Uh, and using this control here, I can change the load on the bucket. At the moment, there's a no load on the bucket tooth, but if I now uh, let's let's uh, get the bucket to dig into the ground, so we'll increase the load there. And we can see what's happened is these reactions are changing. Uh, we've also seen that these uh, uh, these forces here, negative sign is, is showing that we've got compression there of 39% in the boom, uh, compression there of minus 28% in the dipper. I'm going to carry on increasing until, see what's happened there, we've got zero reaction there. So at this position, 15.497 uh, kilonewtons uh, is sufficient to lift uh, the uh, rear stabilizer arm. And in fact, there's no way, I can keep clicking on here, there's no way that the calculation is going to allow me to increase these loads anymore. So this is uh, limited uh, by the uh, the, the, the current loading situation, the maximum hogging that you can put into the excavator arm is limited uh, because uh, we get no until, until there's no reaction at this point here. Let's, uh, let's go back to something more sensible uh, and we'll take the load off again and we'll put um, we'll put the uh, boom a little higher. And what we're going to do here is we're going to raise the boom. And then we're going to increase the loads. If this was a lifting case, we're trying to lift something using the bucket, then if I put some load on here. Okay, what we can see happen there is I've increased the load so much that this ram, uh, the boom ram, has uh, has been um, uh, has surpassed its capacity. And that's why it's uh, changed to a red colour. Uh, and it's 22% over currently lifting that load there. Uh, if we can, we can carry on increasing... Uh, and what we'll eventually find is that this reaction here has gone to zero this time, so I can't increase this load anymore. Uh, it's pivoting on the uh, uh, on the rear stabilizer, and in fact, what it's uh, telling us is that the thing's about to topple over uh, just at that point. So if I increase that number any more, it will topple over. But the program just stops me from doing that. Uh, I can put it back into a more sensible configuration and as I reduce the load you can see the reaction of the front wheel uh, is increasing um, and there we go back to zero. So I hope that you can see that uh, using this tool we can play around with our excavator arm as much as we like. We can put it into some very uh, tricky situations and we can have a look at the loads and we can decide uh, what's exactly happening. And uh, I think you can see how fast uh, and uh, kind of interactive tool it is. And it's a very useful uh, tool for any uh, excavator arm designer uh, to play around with. So please download uh, and, uh, play, uh, and play around to your heart's content uh, and uh, I hope it's uh, useful to you. Thanks for listening.